Joining me now to talk more about today's ad war is Monty Solberg, live in Calgary. Monty, thank you for joining us. You're, uh, you've got some experience with political ads, I would wager. <laughs> yes, I've seen a few and uh, been part of a few campaigns where there's, uh, there's been some tough ads on both sides, for sure. All right. All right. Well, I, I want to get your reaction to some of the ads, some of the newest ads that we're seeing. This first ad comes from the Obama camp. Here it is. President Obama is attacking Mitt Romney because Mitt Romney supports coal miners. But it's Barack Obama who said, So if somebody wants to build a coal power plant, they can. It's just that it will bankrupt them. Obama wages war on coal while we lose jobs to China, who's using more coal every day. Now your job is in danger. If somebody wants to build a coal power plant, they can. It's just that it will bankrupt them. Mr. President, let us keep our jobs. We can't afford four more years. I'm Mitt Romney, and I approve this message. So I, said, I should have said attacking uh, Obama, not from the Obama camp. Your initial reaction to the ad? Well, it's very tough, and uh, it really goes to the heart, I think, of the criticism against Obama, which is that uh, he hasn't done a good job uh, in terms of the economy, obviously, and, and, and it's also a weakness uh, to attack him on uh, the issue of coal. Uh, that's a big issue, of course, up and down uh, in many eastern states, but really across the country uh, and uh, places like West Virginia, those kinds of places uh, will be very much wounded uh, if Obama was to go hardline and, and impose more restrictions on coal. So I'm sure this is about really appealing to uh, people in certain states where, you know, the Republicans think they have a chance. Yeah, it seems to be a very targeted ad, targeted at specific states, specific populations and industries. Yeah, that's right. And, and this particular issue uh, is sensitive because, as you know, uh, President Obama has made a, a big deal of, uh, of uh, investing in alternative energy. And, you know, you have the Solyndra thing and all of that. And uh, then on the, on the opposite side, he's been, you know, vocal at times in the past. He's, he's sort of been much more quiet in the last uh, probably year and a half regarding coal. And uh, so there will be a lot of people who are very sensitive to this issue in some of those coal mining states. All right. I want to get your reaction as well to uh, an ad from the Obama camp, kind of epic in length. Here, here's that ad. OK. Fewer Americans are working today than when President Obama took office. It doesn't have to be this way if Obama would stand up to China. China is stealing American ideas and technology. Everything from computers to fighter jets. Seven times Obama could have taken action. Seven times, he said no. His policies cost us two million jobs. Obama had years to stand up to China. We can't afford four more. I'm Mitt Romney, and I approved this message. Sorry, I must be really anxious to see that Obama <laughs> ad. Uh, <laughs> another, another Romney attack ad. Your reaction to this one on China? Well, you know, I think this plays to uh, concerns that people have about Obama not being tough enough uh, in standing up to people around the world. You notice in that ad where he goes up and he, he does that bow to the president yeah. of China, which, you know, is something he's been roundly criticized for, this sort of sense that, uh, you know, America has to go around and apologize uh, everywhere it goes. And uh, I think I think that's going to be an effective ad. A lot of people want to blame China and other countries for stealing their jobs in a time like this. And it's pretty easy for them to believe, I suspect, that President Obama hasn't been tough enough against the Chinese. Yeah, you know, actually, you, yeah, I think you picked up on the most striking element of that ad. The, the text is one thing, the music is something else, but the image of Obama, a head of state, bowing before another head of state, they are in international terms of, of equal rank. I mean, if they were banged, bowing to each other, it would be one thing, but it, it looks pretty one-sided. It really does. And, uh, you know, early on, Obama got in a lot of trouble when he, he did sort of his apology tour. Uh, and and then he met with various heads of state and there were a number of jokes circulating about how how low he was going to bow to all these various uh, people he was meeting and uh, this is just a reminder of that and 
picking up on it again, and I suspect it will resonate certainly with some folks who, you know, wonder if he's got the steel in his spine to stand up to a country that has been very aggressive against the Americans, both in refusing to devalue their currency and uh, stealing, uh, you know, industrial secrets, this kind of thing. So it's going to resonate with folks for sure. And I, I think that the general message of both of the ads that we saw is it, it, it's trying to evoke the, the American feeling that, hey, we need to defend ourselves. And uh, Americans do that fairly well. Yeah, they, they really do. Uh, you know, this is a, you know, people want a president that they think is a bit of a John Wayne type figure, you know, on, on the world stage. It doesn't mean they want them always to, you know, to go and, and pick fights and that kind of thing. But they want someone with some real steel in their spine and, uh, you know, an image of a president bowing to uh, a Chinese leader who uh, is a dictator in the minds of a lot of people, a communist, uh, mm. of course, uh, and all those other nasty things, you know, in the middle of the country, in those, uh, in those flyover states in the middle of the country, a lot of people are going to say, what is he doing? All right. Thank you, Monty. Thanks very much. Appreciate it, Daniel.